upgrading Central Texas's rural roads and connecting the community. That is the goal behind TxDOT's Rural Transportation Improvement Program, or TIP. Today, you can provide feedback and learn if a project could be in the works for your area. Candy Rodriguez joins us live at what these transportation projects could look like. Candy? Yeah, Nabil, Mandy, and basically this is essentially a list of local projects for these counties you see right behind me. We're talking about Lee, Blanco, Gallipsy, Llano, and Mason counties for 2023 through 2026. Now, TxDOT will have four years to fund the projects. This could include projects for highways, transit services, train or pedestrian and bicycle improvements. To give you an idea of the projects this could include, here's a look at the projects that made the 2021 through 2024 rural tip. In Blanco, the biggest chunk of money, 6.6 .6 million, will go to constructing a continuous left turn lane along Highway 71 between the Burnett County line and Travis County line. Work there is expected to start soon. In Lano, $10 million will go to construct what is called Super 2 passing lanes along a section of Highway 29. That's a two lane surface road built to highway standards with wide lanes. In Lee, crews will soon begin nearly $4 million of work on restoring, leveling up, and retopping Highway 290 with asphalt from County Road 226 to the Fayette County line. In Mason, a little over $4 million will go to replace the bridge at the Llano River on RM 1871. TxDOT says this is an area that experienced flooding and is technically considered a low water crossing. Over in Gillespie, over $12 million will go to winding US 290 with a continuous left turn lane east of Old San Antonio Road to RM 1376. Construction on that will likely start later next year. TxDOT will host a virtual meeting tonight starting at 5. We'll have that information posted on our website at KXAN.com. People have until Saturday, June 18th to comment. And Gallipsy County's plan to speed up traffic around Fredericksburg won't happen. Officials had been considering making a road that would let you drive around the city rather than through it, essentially, obviously bypassing it. But the plan has been rejected, at least for now. Amanda.